Todd Barton here and in this tutorial I'm going to look at comb filter and a little more of the split filter since they're related. Uh, we're going to use white noise again and I'm going to go into odd and even and I have the display set to envelopes so basically what you're seeing is the various bandwidth strengths of the white noise. I'm going to be coming out of the comb filter. What's different from the comb filter from the split filter is the comb filter is fixed. You have odd and even and you can't blend between them or morph or any of that. They are fixed odd and even outputs. This is great for actually sending to other um, maybe delays, echoes, uh, another type of filter. Uh, it just gives you more options for processing. Uh, here we've got the... Let me pull that up. Like we heard in the other episode, this is odd, white noise, and even. Together. You're probably used to hearing that in the real world as either the sound of a passing jet or sometimes even that really low rumble on the inside of a jet. Um, various, uh, oh, aspirated sounds. Uh, so especially if you add some like reverb to it, I'm going to add some outboard uh, convolution reverb. Here we go. Sort of the sound of a burner or afterburner or a furnace. This was not unlike what we heard when we did white noise through even and odd. In fact, pretty much the same. The only difference between comb filter, as I said before, is it's fixed, whereas the even and odd outputs allow you to morph between even and odd and also to set various levels of the even bandwidths and the odd bandwidths. I'm looking at levels A again, like we've done before, but I've only dialed in some of the low sounds here. And let me bring that up. And slightly higher sounds on the B side. So we can get almost a breathing sound here, especially if I use a CV from the 281. And add some convolution reverb. And we can see what that looks like in program mode. And one parting variation on this. With the white noise, we have this. And let's hear what happens if we use a tone out of the 259E. It's very similar to the one I used in the previous tutorials. Let's just use the CV out of 281 to change the pitch.
Okay, see you in the next episode.